Nicole Henato and I am back here at my favorite place at CSA Medical Aesthetics. So I am back after three weeks to do a follow-up treatment because last time we did a airshine treatment. It's a microneedling technique to reduce the um, appearance of my acne scars and now we're going to do a follow-up to reduce permanently my acne scars and as you can see uh, my face um, really lightened up already and now I'm back here to do it again and also we're gonna do um, a booster not just a vaccine but it's for your nose for my nose it's a Heiko booster so I did a, the Heiko treatment last year and now we're gonna do it again to really improve the appearance or the bridge and the tip of my nose Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell button and to comment down and like this video. Good day everyone, welcome to the CSA Medical Aesthetics. I'm Dr. Contessa, your Certified Aesthetic Physician. In today's episode, we'll be doing a so-called Heiko Booster and also a follow-up with our former guest, Dr. Patricia Henato. Hi everyone, I'm back here yeah. to do a follow-up treatment for my um, air, shine. air shine. And we're gonna do also a Heiko Booster. Yes. So. The Heiko treatment we did was a year ago, yes, or more than a year ago, Doctora. Yeah. Yes, but looking at Doctora Nicole, by the way, congratulations, Doctora. <laughs> she still has that good profile. The nasofrontal angle, the nasolabial angle, still good, right? Yes, so can you share something about that uh, effect of the Heiko treatment? So for the Heiko treatment, I observed that it. Um, the Contessa before, said before that um, Heiko treatment lasts only um, for one to two years but after a year I can tell that it really stayed and it I feel like it has yeah. a muscle memory yeah na doc, na right. parang, um, even though somehow um, nag Minimize, minimize but yeah. it's, it's still there. there is still something inside yes, this is the so-called tissue build up. I too, Doctor. I had my Heiko done three years ago, yes. diba? but I still have it, especially here at the radix part. I can still palpate the yes. material. And the thing there is the tissue formation. It's like your own natural fibrous structures there. And these are organized fibrous formation because around those PDO threads or PCL threads, there's this network of collagen fibers that are being formed and this is not the disorganized or haphazard scar-like tissues they're more of they have this uh, network that's beautifully laid inside the tissues because the others are saying scar tissue yan. but in in essence because those fibrous structures follow the material those pdo strands so organized po yung build up ng structure and i love it because it's still natural looking and the wonderful thing there is like it gave me like in my case a semi-permanent effect already yes. so for now we can do a so-called add-on or like a booster because you had done a year ago displacement of this Heiko materials then a year later you can add on again a second layer it's like on top of those first layer of the tissue fiber materials you built then you have to put on top of it again it's like making another layer of it so parang semi-permanent effect na rin. okay so for individuals who are not into surgical rhinoplasty this will be the remedy although others are okay with this surgical opening but other people are not into the surgery 
So those individuals who don't want any cut, then this will be your option. Okay. And it's a safe procedure. A lot of like we have several doctors doing this right now. So again, it's clinically proven safe. Yeah. And as you can see with Dr. Ra, it's more than a year actually, right? It's still yeah. Up and it's still It's still <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. Nakaka enhance din ang confidence natin. Plus the skin of Dr. Ra, 2 weeks pa lang po with our air shine. Yeah. We notice already a great improvement. Malaking percentage na yung nag-improve sa skin ni Dr. Ra. Acne marks had already reduced. So we'll be doing a second session of that one. Ideally, for a best result, you can do an every two-week treatment, like three sessions to five sessions of that, until we really have seen a clearance of all the acne marks. So I'm excited, Doctor, to do the second HICO treatment for you, as well as second session of our Airshine. We'll show the procedure when CSA Medical Aesthetics returns. Back, mga ka -CSA. So for Dr. Patricia, we're doing first the so-called HICO booster treatment. So we'll again improve the radix height and also improve the nasal tip projection to give that narrower, slimmer nose. Okay. Before we did the three-way HICO technique, for now, we'll be doing again a booster treatment. So I'll be anesthetizing the in tip region, the entry point. Okay lang, Dr. So a while ago, we placed a numbing cream. We cleanse the skin and then right now, I'll be injecting a so-called lidocaine into the infratip region. I'll pinch and I'll inject a tiny needle and my lidocaine there around 0.1 mil of my lidocaine. And then after numbing this area, we can already make our puncture point, making use of either a gauge 18 or gauge 19 needle. So this is my gauge 18 needle so I'll just pinch inhale exhale Dr. Ra, entry point and I'll start with a little bit of my restylane lift the only dermal filler that I really use for my nose projection one is restylane lift the other is Bellotero intense so for this one restylane lift I'll use a gauge 25 cannula and I'll glide it into that space now, for those who are already repeaters of this treatment, expect some resistance there because they had procedure way back and they had some tissue fibrosis. So, we expect some resistance already. I'll pull up the skin and just glide a bit. Nail exhale, Dr. I'm feeling for that space. I'll just glide it in that space, Dr. So before I notice with Doctora, she has this super tip break. So we wanted to improve that also. And then I'll gradually push my dermal filler. This is made up of hyaluronic substance, a natural substance found in our system. So I actually move the cannula a bit to make sure we are in the right anatomical space. So when I use my dermal filler as much as possible, I go deep, the deepest layer of our nasal tissue structure. Okay, nail exhale, Dr. Ra. And the good thing with this filler, it has a lidocaine. So, when I use my threads already, then the nose tissues will be numb already. Okay, next will be my columella projection. So, I'll glide this towards the anterior nasal spine. So, some resistance there which is expected already. So for Doctora, she has some pinpoint bleeding in the entry point and then since I'm using a soft cannula, so somehow it's kind of, uh, there's some resistance there because of the old treatment we've done. Inhale, exhale. Okay. So a little bit of my filler here just to give that numbing effect. Inhale, exhale, Doctora. So it's normal to feel it like we're placing on top of the incisor fossa. So, the sensation is like uh, you're feeling like it's at the upper part of your, your teeth. Okay, now I'll use a PDO thread. I'll glide it towards the radix. This is a 50 millimeter length cannula. So, gliding it in the right anatomical space. Again, there's a resistance already. So, we have to be gentle with pushing the cannula towards the radix. I'm gliding a little bit gradually because take note there's a resistance there 
and then I'll follow it up with another piece of my thread so others have this easy glide because it's their first time but usually for repeaters expect already resistance there there's a glide of that and then I can continue on I can combine the length of the PDO threads if I want to make it like in a slope appearance like a, another length of a thread when you want to reshape the nose you can also make use of different lengths of your PDO strands or your PCL strands so I can just put several pieces of my PDO threads there and then finally this one then we go with the nasal tip projection and we can make another entry point for our tip columella projection the reason that I make another entry point for that one is to make sure that I place it in the intercolumellar space there because there's this space between those cartilages here in the columella part there so I'm just gliding it and very careful with it expect resistance Okay, I'm just gonna pinch columella and make sure that it's between my two fingers here and glide there I'm just careful inhale exhale Dr. Patricia so towards that nasal spine there make sure you put on the entire length of your cannula because we don't want some of our strands extruding out of our entry point to prevent those thread extrusion problems so then I'll proceed with the second one so since Dr. I still had that presence of those remnants from those previous procedures she had so we'll make use of these two strands here in the tip projection and we are done so we'll give time for rest for doctora we will proceed with the airshine second session treatment done the second session of our air shine treatment for Dr. Patricia will show the result when CSA Medical Aesthetics returns. And we're back. We'll now show the result to Dr. Patricia. Dr. Here's our mirror and you can check now the outcome of what oh we have done. Oh my gosh! Yeah. No. It's a lot better. It's more projected. It's narrower. And it's really natural looking, and it is still Dr. Patricia Hernando. Yes, Doc. Yeah. It's so beautiful, Doc. Thank yes. you so, so much. So we have done the uh, booster of our HICO treatment. We used Prestilane Lift, like about half cc, and we also used 10, 10 strands of our PDO threads for Dr. Patricia. And looking at the profile view, I can see that very good angle there as well as that, uh, the, both the nasofrontal and the nasolabial angle. And frontal view, you can see that it's within that intercantal width, so it's narrower and slimmer, making her face also looking slimmer and narrower too. And with her skin already, we've seen results from our air shine. It's like a big percentage improvement, even like a single treatment already, you may see 30% improvement on the skin outcome already so doctor can you share something to our televiewers so um since i am really scared of doing a uh, surgical or rhinoplasty so for me haiko is really the best option and as you can see this is a booster already or a follow-up after a year and the results are much better like exactly it's, it's, as you can it's see better. the evidence yes like it's as time passes by, you'll still see improvement with it. Eh? Then when you do a booster treatment of it, it's a lot better. Yes. There's more of an improvement in the shape, in the dimension, and overall look of the face, yes. right? Oh. And of course, the skin texture also, we have to really take good care of it. We want to be like uh, balanced with everything. Of course, we're doing prevention of aging for Dr. already. So with the skin treatment, uh, somehow those air shine skin boosters that we're using they're also helping in 
delaying the aging process, like preventing those fine lines and wrinkles and sagginess. And it's boosting your collagen as well as your elastin and hyaluronic formation because our skin boosters, they contain a lot of micronutrients. There are stem cells there, growth factors needed by our skin, skin epithelial cells, okay, and also those vitamins, minerals, peptides, hyaluronic acids, and all revitalizing factors for our skin. Skin glow. Yes. Okay. Um, to achieve the. Yes. I wake. I, I woke up like this. Correct. So that less makeup or even no makeup at all. Yes. Okay. So, Doctora, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Mom. I just want to add also yeah. that the procedure of the high is really, it's not painful at all, yes. and it's really quick. Doctora With, only did it for six minutes, <laughs> and it's not painful. Result, yeah. Yes, Paul. that's combining both the filler and the PDO threads also. Because for some PDO threads only is fine. For some, they only want filler, it's fine. But the overall outcome, it should be like, you know, a balance and within the right proportions. That's more important, and the safety of the treatment. It's always important to use product materials that are FDA approved and also recommended by your certified aesthetic physician only. Okay, be careful of those imitations. They may say it's very cheap and there are so many fake materials or products out there, especially online because this, this FDA cleared or approved products, they only go to the certified aesthetic doctors, licensed doctors only, okay? For the safety of everyone. Thank you, Doctora. Thank you so much, Doc. We'll see more of Doctora's follow up. And thank you all. God bless you, Po. If you have any question, you may email us at CSA Skin Clinic at yahoo.com. We have our FB page, CSA Medical Aesthetics, Instagram, CSA Medical Aesthetics. Our clinic is located here at the Infinity Shop, Pulong Maragul, Angeles City. Contact number 0933-860-9193 or 0917-504-4268. If you want to watch the other episodes of Doctora, you can check on our YouTube channel, Contessa Salvador. And please also subscribe and click the like and notification bell. Okay, thank you. God bless you all. When it comes to natural beauty, you can trust the CSA Medical Aesthetics. Mm -hmm.